The leader of Iraq's Chaldean Catholics is one of 14 new cardinals named by Pope Francis just last Sunday. Luis Rafael Sacco is getting praise, especially in Muslim countries. A priest and expert on Islam in Rome who personally knows Patriarch Sacco says he's a great choice. He's open-minded and has a, a great heart and a great vision. And I think he was, he is um, very much um, wanted in Iraq uh, by all people, both Muslims and Christians. Egyptian father Samir Khalil helped supervise Sako's doctoral studies in Rome. He told our Juliet Lindley he's known Sako for many years. With more on this, we go to Vatican correspondent Juliet Lindley, who joins us now from Rome. Juliet, what else did Father Samir tell you about the soon-to-be cardinal? Why? You know, he told me he thinks Luis Sacco is a perfect pick, even for the Muslim community. He's an Arab, he knows the Quran well, and he's well-versed in Muslim culture and tradition. Father Samir also told me he knows Sacco is fully committed to staying in Iraq, and that's no easy feat given that many Christians are asking themselves in Iraq whether to stay or leave the country in the wake of the violence against them perpetrated by ISIS. And of course, there's an, another soon-to-be cardinal from another Muslim country, Archbishop Kutz. He's from Pakistan. Now, Muslim leaders are also praising the Pope's decision on him. What are they saying? Indeed, Wyatt, the director of the Interreligious Commission for Peace and Harmony in Karachi says the appointment of Joseph Kutz is a great honor for the entire nation of Pakistan. He said, quote, we support him in building and promoting love, peace, harmony and unity in Pakistan. And the president of the Pakistani People's Party, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, reacted saying, quote, we cannot wait to work together with Cardinal Kutz in a peaceful and a tolerant Pakistan. The Pope also recently gave an interview to an Italian newspaper in which he spoke about dialogue with Islam. What did he say about that issue? Speaking to a journalist of the northern Italian newspaper Leco di Bergamo, the Holy Father argued that we shouldn't equate all of Islam with terrorism. Now that's something Pope Francis has said often. And recently, Cardinal Jean-Louis Torrent, who heads the Vatican Office for Dialogue with Muslims, visited Saudi Arabia. He's promoting dialogue to fight terrorism and ignorance and is calling for Christians not to be considered second-class citizens. However, Wyatt, Francis has also spoken often about the persecution of Christians. And in February, he met personally with a Nigerian victim of the jihadist group Boko Haram, as well as the husband and daughter of Asia Bibi, a Christian Pakistani woman imprisoned on charges of blasphemy against Islam. Such, a, such an important issues here, and I know people of faith around the world, not just Catholics, are praising Pope Francis for standing up for some of these issues. Juliet Lindley, EWTN News Nightly Vatican correspondent. Thanks so much. Thank you, Wyatt.